Hey everyone, it's Mike here, and today I'm going to show you a quick tutorial on how to turn a photo into black and white and isolate a subject from the photo. So let's go ahead and get started. As you can see here, I've already have an image opened up in Photoshop. This is a photo I took during my visit at the Sumida Aquarium in Tokyo. Here we have a line of goldfish lanterns and what I want to do is I want to single out that one goldfish in the center by making everything around it black and white and leave that one goldfish in the center um, in color. Before we begin selecting the goldfish, I highly recommend duplicating the image as a, another image layer by hitting the Control J or Command J for Apple users. And as you can see, the new image layer will appear. Now let's go ahead and turn off the original image layer by clicking that little eyeball icon. That way we're not working on the original image layer. And then select the layer 1, which will be the layer that we'll be working on. Now let's go ahead and select the goldfish by using the quick selection tool. Uh, if you, if it's not already selected from your toolbar, um, simply press the W on your keyboard. Now let's start selecting by left clicking the areas of our goldfish and as you can see uh, once I start selecting everything uh, I did pick up on the fish behind it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down my Alt key and deselect that area by using the lasso selection tool. Now if I wanted to add a selection, uh, I would simply hold down my Shift key instead like that. And now we have our fish selected. So let's go up to our toolbar on the top and click the select and mask button. Then this properties palette will appear and you'll be able to preview your subject in different types of backgrounds. This one is the marching ants, this one is an overlay with a back black ground, white background, black and white, and on layers. For this tutorial, we're just going to stick to the on layers mode. Now we can refine the edges of our selected goldfish. And as soon as I zoom in here a bit, I'm adjusting the smoothness of the edges. That way it doesn't look too jagged. And uh, I can use the feather levels to create a subtle blur. Um, I can adjust the contrast to my liking. I think, uh, I think that looks good. And finally, shifting edges will allow me to expand my selection outwards, uh, as, you can as you can see. So just play around with the different levels of smoothness feather, contrast, and shift edge uh, until you're satisfied with the settings. Now let's go over to our output settings. Let's click that to expand it. And there's this option called decontaminate colors. For this tutorial it's optional but I usually check this box off as a habit, uh, especially if you're working on a complicated selection such as a hair or fur and you want to get those single strands of hair so let's leave the output to new layer with layer mask 
alone, and then select OK. What this does is create a new layer with a mask over the selection, and now you have the goldfish isolated from the background. Now let's go ahead and turn off the new layer by clicking on the eyeball icon next to it, and turn on the layer 1 layer by clicking the little box next to it. Now with the layer 1 layer selected, let's go up to our image adjustment and let's select desaturate. And the shortcut for that is shift control U. And as you can see, our photo just turned into black and white. Now to complete the entire tutorial, let's go ahead and click the little checkbox next to the new layer with the mask. And now it's done. So that wraps up our tutorial on how to turn a photo into black and white and isolate a subject in Photoshop. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed creating it. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think or what kind of tutorials you'll look forward to seeing in my next videos. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe to check out what other creative projects or tutorials I'll be working on. And on that note, I'll see you next time.